Okay, everybody, here's your strategy wolf and welcome back to old world. Welcome back to our Carthaginians in the Oxhide uh, scenario campaign, a scenario one of the Carthaginian campaign. And welcome back to nowadays Bomilka, not the new, but the ambitious. And yeah, we are ambitious. We are about to, we have these two goals to fulfill while this one is going to happen next turn. And here we need to just build the market in the end. And then we're wondering what the last goal is going to be. So we are in the, let's say, for this campaign already on the final meters. I don't know. We shall see how many episodes it's going to be. And yeah, let's make it short. So we all are interested also in the next scenarios, of course. So let's just go in before we talk too much about details. Ah, yeah, and we have last turn. We of course we killed off or finished off the Libyan tribe over here. Um, we've got a gold victory already. <laughs> Let me finish this. Okay, in a second. Um, tutoring. We have a new daughter, Aristabal. Some and some people converted to Carthaginian paganism. All right. Um, we've got the three Byremes as mentioned and. <laughs> Let's wait for a second. Yeah, I just wanted to talk. Last turn we destroyed the Libyan tribe over here. However, the last remnants started some kind of uh, resurrection or some kind of revenge. Um, yeah, last uprising. So that's what we're gonna do, fighting those down. And exactly before we um, continue, I mean, we've achieved victory gold. Um, I don't, to be honest, I'm not an expert with these old world campaigns since the first world I've played so far i always played just the um just the uh normal games like the sandbox games and not the com campaigns wasn't there somewhere like our victory condition something like that i mean since we have gold victory i feel like maybe we already did it at the same time We've got these goals out here, and I feel like I want to finalize that, so... Uh, stop, 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 Before I did anything uh, back there, back the uh, right answer. As the wealth of New City grows to legendary heights and word of this wealth spreads around the Mediterranean region, the need to defend what has been built, what has been earned, increases. Now that Kart Hadash has built a formidable navy, a new need has emerged. How can't this navy be deployed without dedicated crews for the ships? Deploying only some of these ships while others remain in reserve could allow the great city to call upon citizen volunteers in times of crisis. However, there's still the matter of who, who, who would crew the ships that are put into use. Rotations could be set up with military service required for a period of time, but this approach risks losing the knowledge gained by those who serve when their time of experience uh, service expires. The city cannot afford to dedicate all of its citizenry to martial service. There must be an institutional answer. Okay, we finished the three Byrims and now we've got to, add, okay, go for a professional army. Interesting. I mean, I'm not an expert of uh, Carthaginian military, nor, I mean, I wrote something on Punic Wars before, and nor am I sure if there's like detailed knowledge of us these days, how it works or what they used. But as far as I know, I mean, there were... They, they mostly relied on mercenaries also and yeah anyhow we need manor uh manor so let's manor manor uh, probably manor um to get this law out where do we find this oh so we need plenty of things actually Oh gosh, I mean, which leads me back to the idea where we're gonna go for forestry right now, since, uh, actually, can we switch? Forestry, yeah, please. Since we need this one, um, I'm a little bit, let's see, we have forestry over here, then we've got to go for military drill probably two years six years six years and this is six years and we've got 18 years minimum plus mana with at 25 years for research i mean we can do it but i feel like this is gonna be quite a boring time where we just basically wait until this has been done um 
we will follow at least we're gonna build this market for sure this is something that i definitely want to uh do uh until that uh, moment i will uh check out if we can actually jump already in the next campaign scenario or not uh you can also please let me know your opinion if you want to see that but i feel like this scenario is kind of limited and gold victories probably a epic victory oh guys um yeah probably gonna go for epic victory because it's of course we want to be epic here so i might even do this 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 boring waiting time uh, in parentheses maybe i just rushed through it so and we focus on um a little bit on on research to get there quicker but yeah we'll try to do that <laughs> Great thinkers. One of our most prosperous neighborhoods has become to a burgeoning intellectual movement. Many of the capital's most talented young figures emerge from this area and we should take notice. Whom should we bring to court? And yeah, we just yeah, definitely did scholars since it just said we need more um, yeah, research. It's quite important. A new court scholar, Elisar, has joined the court. Her curiosity and sight will aid Carthage in unraveling the mysterious mysteries of the world. Elisar, the scientist. Okay, a little bit of a boost. And upgrade Yasmin. Um, yeah, she becomes righteous. Wonderful. All right, here we go. So let's get to the front lines first. And let's maybe. Oh, yeah, these guys are really. She does some. I don't want to lose this unit, that's why I'd rather heal here and she can heal in neutral territory, which is wonderful. And maybe I'm getting... Yeah, King Bommelkar. Is he not doing anything actually right now? No, he's the Kaltadasht uh, governor, so he won't fight directly here, but... Hishmat, our youngest cousin, the cruel one, yeah, he will fight over here and the others here i'm just gonna damage them a little bit and the next turn we try to attack harder what else um you know, we've got this city to build over here in the end it doesn't really matter where we go to it's just desert so actually i can take the easiest way let's quickly think about who we're gonna build it for traders get net bonus Artisans get ship bonus and mines and lumber mills and the riders get connection and bonuses for Cities two cities two cities two so we've got two each right now I feel like the markets I need the least uh, since we don't need the riders over here necessarily so I think I'll give this one to the trader and here to the artisans. This is probably what we're gonna do. Yeah so traders also, they need some need to be pleased a little bit. Wonderful. And the next settler we're still gonna send over here. Arie Fili. What's the name? Filianorum. Okay. By the way, please be aware when we're talking here, Leptis Magna and Arie Filianorum. Obviously Latinized names, or this is the probably the Roman, I don't know this very uh, town. Uh, but they are obviously Ro Roman names, so don't think this would be Carthaginian, Phoenician or anything. <laughs> Katadasht, I guess, is. But I also don't really feel very comfortable right now to talk about these things. So, uh, yeah. With, with such a high confidence. So, please take everything I say with some... Uh, uh, yeah. Don't, tr don't... You can trust me <laughs> to some extent, but please don't take it too by heart. You know, I, I might make mistakes. We're gonna place a hamlet here, because what else are we gonna do? Um... Here we don't maybe an Odeon and then get this for another shrine. I mean the shrine also provides potentially in the alcoholic form they will provide some um it's research but here then let's build here the shrine of Tanit. And over here, yeah, for we have to build the market for our mission, so let's do it over here right now and in two years this mission will be done also so just professional law is missing and that's what we gotta do here we want to scout a bit to see the or and here's our new wonderful byreem 
gonna be a fire ship, sure. Um, yeah, you know, since there's no naval enemy right now, I'm not thinking about this too much. And uh, here in Karthadash, we in Carthage, we can think about what we want to do and repay year, two per year. And here we get 120 in 10 years, so 12 per year. Three per year. Three per year. Okay, I want to get the apprentice poet out. Wait, or, or the acolytes for the two per year. Extra. Here we get with the poet, we get a little bit more culture. So I'm going to get the poet out just for some little bit extra research and then i'm gonna go for the inquiry inquiry to boost our research towards the uh yeah towards the um, thing we need towards the re uh, technology we need okay over here we're gonna start classically yeah, with a worker and let's go to the next turn okay counter offensive as always Prince Karali is in old enough to be tutored. Uh, he will be tutored also. And he will be a philosopher as well. We're talking about research right now. Okay. And we, I think we'll start, of course, with the military again. And I feel like you guys need to be healed again. I don't want to lose them. And over here we try to finally take this out. All right, you guys can heal or heal. Um, we've got the new settler, and you got you go definitely gonna go over here. Anyways, I don't know which route he is taking. Oh, over here. Uh, yeah, it's really nice to see how quickly uh, the seaborne travel allows us to move our units, at least the civilian units. That's really good. Over here, let's do some more scouting. Well. Oh, we've got so much orders now. And oh, we've got two luxuries to... Uh, okay, let's do the Leptis Magna Governor. And I think Duchess Arishat, the extravagant cultivator. Gives us some nice extra uh, politics, civics and some research. Yes, you're going to be here. Um, we've got Prince Caroly can be tutored. Yes. Are we going to do it him ourselves, or is there somebody that is a little bit better in this? I find Tabiba very useful for this. Tabiba the scientist, yeah, because we want more uh, wisdom at the moment, so she's going to do this. We've got... I, oh, we can tutor him twice? Okay, then I also gonna tutor him. Oh, fair enough. I didn't even know that. Uh, okay, thank you for accepting this. And we've got two luxuries. Um, we've got dice and pearls. I mean, okay, the Hanunits could be a little bit happier. So you're gonna get this time. You are gonna get the um, pearls directly. To the Hanunits, they will like this a lot. So very nice. Whilst the dice go to another city that doesn't have the a Magunet city that doesn't have dice yet. Kartadash has them. So Leptis Magna doesn't have them. Who else is a Magunet city? Only Leptis Magna. Okay, then it's gonna be Leptis Magna. Oh, they have the dice already too. Okay. Um, either we give it to another city that doesn't like, that likes dice, or that, that is not a huge fan of them, you know. They get extra bone if they belong to the, the cities in their happiness, if they belong to their corresponding family. In this case, no, but we have a discontent level of 4. Let's have a look, and here, 3, so let's get it, give it to Hadromatum in this case, yeah. And now it just, yeah, it goes up. Uh, where am I, discontent, plus 3. So the dice are lowering it by... I didn't pay attention 
too. And I think if you're if if, if Hadromatum would be part of the Magonets and they like dice, it would have been three. So just for you guys as a little bit of a reminder or uh, yeah, help for you guys. He she yeah, these ships are gonna promote. No, actually not. We're gonna get our settler or our our spice back. Wonderful. And you guys, you can stay here next to Malta. Uh, we've got a production to do over here. We've finalized what? A fisher? Ah, that's where the new luxury is incoming. So I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess I'm going to get ranchers. Or, nope. We want research. That's what we were talking about. This so apprentice acolyte. Dakape. Um, a fisher for more pearls. In combination here with the temple, that would be pretty cool, I guess. And gives us at least one, but the Apprentice Acolyte gives us more, so we want to make the time where we wait for the Eptic Victory as short as possible, so that's why I'm pushing these things right now. Um, say, is it the same over here? Shall we get the Acolyte out or something else? Or uh, Ranch or Trapper? No, the orders, we have so many orders right now, so it is going to be the Acolyte as well. And there we go, so we've got one order left, nothing to do. Um, yeah, we don't need our ambassador right now. Let's jump into the next turn. Uh, focusing on these poor bastards here. Uh, Queen Consort Pyrus never seems to keep her word, is now known as deceitful. Okay, not good. And more people converted. Sponsor a laboratory. Scientific pursuits seem to intrigue your wife. Oh yeah, at least that's that's good. It may be wise to build a workplace where she could explore the world's many mysteries. Shall we consider it? Uh, most definitely, yes. Is she a governor? No. All sit... Uh, it's too expensive. But we are working on, yeah, we are working on science, so we're gonna give it to her, right? Come on, open my private laboratory, it's a thing. Trouble at court. A series of escalating arguments and inset invectives has led to outright feuding at court. King Dawaga Nawel has accused two a lot of hippo... How is he actually king? Ah, he was the regent back in the day. Uh, my father? Ah, yeah, we succeeded a, wi a, a woman, okay, of course. Has accused Tuolit of Hipparegis of misguiding our armies with useless outdated military tactics. He threatens to incite outrage among our soldiers if nothing is done. Ultimately, it is on us to resolve this dispute. Do we appease Nawel or stand up for Tuolat? I mean, our father. Court soldier, but she's not commanding any unit, right? Yeah, come on, we have our father. Just roleplay here a little bit. Wealth beyond imagining. The Hamonid are cl uh, clan are ascendant. Their ambition to construct the world's greatest market in Kardash has brought unprecedented wealth to our capital city. Our reputation for pr producing and trading in the most exotic specialized goods will spread to every corner of the entire Mediterranean region. The Hanonid clan was right with this grand market. We are poised to become the hub of the entire Mediterranean trading culture. Indeed. We finalized this mission um, with by building the market over here, which leaves us just with this very one goal left for the epic victory. And let's do everything to get there as soon as possible. Starting off uh, with yeah, finally getting here the uh, out of the way. Carthalo de Silet. Ah, yeah, our cousin. This decries our recent sacking of barbarian settlements as dangerous and necessar unnecessary. What? He's the cruel one. And the Silet. This doesn't belong to. <laughs> he accuses the court of willing, uh, willfully sowing the seeds of unending war by acting in a way that only serves to raise future threats against us. Conquering savages is the way of expansion. Uh, okay, we are not warlike. We must erase the barbaric cultures. I kind of think so. Perhaps there are more peaceful methods. No. I mean, this just fits. Come on. They, they've been the ones attacking us. With the Numidians, we are fine. So let's become intolerant. Wonderful. What a good development. <laughs> um, anyways, we ta we've taken the city side. Um, eight. 
And I think, let's risk it. We're gonna destroy these guys also with... Uh... Okay, I hope... I really hope those guys are not gonna... Ah, one, they can't. It looks very positive for us. Let's hope so, at least. So, good things over here. Looks like the Lumi uh, Libyan threat is finally... Uh, out of clear uh, range. Yeah, and these settlers move up. Very good. Let's have here we finish the Shrine of Melkart. Um, what do they want us to build next? Yeah, come on, let's get quickly these horses out. It makes sense to at least connect the ones we have. Um, pasture, yeah. Over here we finished a uh, Odeon, very nice. Shrine of Balhamon for adjacent pastures. Uh, that, there should be better spots, no? Yes, there should be. Um, oh, but this one, they're already in use. But actually, I can, come on. I will replace this this farm, that's okay. Um, control, alright. Cannot be adjacent to another shrine. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, actually, we, we don't have the nice spots over here, so Balhamon is a little bit out of uh, fashion right now. Ashmoon for adjacent groves. Uh, no, guys, 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 wait. Is there any groves around? Groves around? Groves around? Also not. Or another hamlet. Oh, we can't build the hamlet right now. All good. Then let's get a market out. So get get ultimately rich. I don't know if it's going to be useful, but it fits us, and we are here in the central parts, of course, of the Carthaginian people so i think it makes just sense and here we've got for just groves or the m5 um, theater yes come on let's be the number one people in the mediterranean of course we need a massive m5 theater in in carthage you guys can heal you guys will also heal, heal one more turn you guys go scout to where, whatever we're gonna see over here. Leptis Magna can basically build nothing really useful right now. That's why we're gonna go for the walls for to lower this content in the end. We've got eight orders left where we can do stuff with. Nope, but there's nothing to do, so we're gonna skip that. Leave the eight orders. And Oligarch Himmelko Piperigius, the governor, has died in office, is now head, and Oligarch Tuatlat is the new uh, head in, in charge. Alrighty, um, we're gonna definitely follow the land consolidation since we're gonna go for the quick epic victory. And we have Dear Father. We have received an update from your son in training. He wishes to study with high masters of philosophy whose teachings are essential to the development of the soul. However, this excess comes at a price. Shall we need, uh, send the necessary funds to Carly? Yeah, the most definitely... Uh, uh, you will become a great scholar. Most definitely, yes. We have the money, so what else for? Um, we need a new... For Hipporegius, a new governor. And we take Elisar the Scientist. Wonderful. Delver. Mines and quarries 50% output. Maybe we can build some more mines on quarries over here then. Anyways, get her out. Okay, and here we are. Um... Smashing the last remains of the Libyans. Any chance we're gonna get these guys over here this turn? Um, why, uh, uh, why can't I not go for forced march? This is weird. Ah, because we haven't really spent all of our march. Actually, then let's do this because I feel like we have enough time to do that. And we said this is gonna be a Magonet city since uh, we have already, like, they have three, the traders and the um, artisans also get three. So, yeah, it's gonna be a Magonet city. 
Oh yes, Perides. All right. Um, just gonna fight down these last remains. Then you guys can heal. And yeah, let's have a look over here. Here we finished another shrine. Hipporegius has just said maybe quarries and mines would quarries and mines would be interesting. Then let's do that. Oh, we have no orders left. Interesting. Uh, because of the forced march. Holy... Is, are the Nomidians mobilizing for a... <laughs> attack on us? There's suddenly so many Nomidian horses showed up. Um, oh, hiring them consumes orders as well. So next time we have orders left, I will hire some of these mercenaries just in case. To protect us from themselves. And over here we're gonna build a worker first. A standard move. Um... No reason to not do that. Okay, let's end another year. Tell you that a scientist has tutored Prince Curry, improving his wisdom. He gets more wisdom. Nice. The tutor mission of King Bomilcar has led to an event. I think this is the one with the man, the mummy that we invested on him. The ambassador has died. Okay, and more conver conversions. Ancient lessons. More ancient than we are now, okay. One day, King Bomilcar the Ambitious and Karali take out a tour of recently unearthed ruins with a learned scholar. They lay hands on ancient carvings, sketch the facade of a fallen temple and explore the depth of an underground tomb. Thus, the exhausted Bomilcar attempts to impart the lessons of all his faded glory. Alright, the past is beyond us and we must look to the future. He becomes inspiring, this is pretty nice. Bold, nah. Clearly these ancient peoples that were inferior to us, they were clearly not. Or we must do all we can to learn from their mistakes and become educated. I mean, we are 35. I don't know if, if Karali is going to be in charge that much. So I'm not sure. I feel inspiring sounds actually better. Especially the culture all cities would get if he turns to leader. Yeah, we make him inspiring. How old is he actually? 13. Okay. Defamation. The nation mourns the death of our late ruler Sushan, but even while the body is still warm... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, ah, yeah, he was the regent, right? Ah, and we made him to ambassador, okay. But even while the body is still warm, the ignoble Duke Hishmet the Cruel has begun to defame him. In a series of vituperative speeches, he celebrates the demise of this previous government and even goes so far as to implicate you in the follies of your predecessor. Wait, wait, isn't this his father or something like this? <laughs> Uh, before, uh, sorry, guy, we have to find this out. Um, so who's the? What? Wait, he's Boster is the cruel? No, Hishmat is the cruel. Yeah, he's the one. It's the son of his. Okay, he's uh, basically kind of like uh, ruining the, <laughs> the, the 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 leftovers, the legacy of his father. That's wild. Uh, how do we handle this crisis? Make him an enemy is the state. Yeah, we can send him away this or address his discontent publicly. I yeah, I mean It's also for us, it's kinda of, we're gonna go with this one. This uh, the legitimacy is okay anyways. And I feel like he's a general now, it's okay. And but mostly I mean he's our cousin. If he actually uh spoils the legacy of his father or this like second line of our family i feel like our legitimacy to the throne becomes even better so i will address his discontent and say yeah, our line does it very much better this is why bomilcar is in charge now okay prison conscripts as the enemy descends upon ois perides patriarch Hastrobal of quadrilash approaches you with a suggestion he proposed that the prisons of ois perides should be emptied okay we can get some militia for i know this event because they're close but no i will not risk the trouble also it doesn't make a lot of sense when you remember there is no clear prison since the city has just been founded the wealthier citizens of Leptis Magna wish to hold a public feast in honor to their city's ongoing prosperity. They have asked the governor, Duchess Arishat the Exotic, to take the seat of honor. What shall we do? Developing culture event, very nice. Um, yeah, we need wisdom, so that's what we're gonna go for. And we can choose a new ambassador, which we will do immediately. And uh, actually, just one is available, the rest is busy anyways do we have a problem with our religion no but we could improve actually the uh yeah the relation so actually let's get her into a lot all bar kids over here quite interesting is she 
poor rat. Uh, I'm losing a little bit the overview of um, the family. Tuarat, Tuarat, can I see she's Barkit, but not here, okay. Not of the closed circle, alright. Um, let's have a look what we're gonna do over here. Uh, let's get the Alhamon temple out here, that's good. Over here, yeah, Melkart not at the sea, this doesn't make sense at all. Um, but in general, the temple of Melkart would be interesting. No, also not, because we're going for further quarries. That's what we wanted to do. Even also, we could build lumber mills, actually, but I don't see the necessity. So, ah, we, oh, yeah, with the three Byrims, it might be useful to have some, some uh, over here. Uh, but let's still get the mines out first. And okay, let's go over here. Let's finish these guys off, I guess. Hang. And the rest can travel slowly to the west, I would say. Since there's nothing... Uh, FB, ah, okay, we need to... I think we can't use them on sea, only the uh, civil units. That's interesting. You guys can heal. And you move up here. No, no, we're using theoretically also the ships, right? I'm confused. Um... Anything to do. Currently can be tutored. Yeah, then please tell me about tutor him once again. And I want to influence actually uh, maybe him since, yeah, we could have better influ uh, influence with the church. So that's good for us. Am I doing it? I feel like. Do it. All right. So three more left. Then we can also apparently discover the shores of Spain over here. I don't know if this is the Ebro. Oh, <laughs> shores of shores of Spain, the Balearic Islands, of course. Um, and then get some production out here. Yep, and we're gonna get the apprentice once again, since we want, as mentioned, some more research. And talking about this, uh, with the destruction of the final destruction of the Libyans over here, and we're waiting for like a period of peace and where we quickly research to get finally our professional army out for an epic victory in this scenario. So only a few turns hopefully that we can speed up as much as possible left. Let me know if it's uh, if you want me to rather jump to the next scenario but I think it should be envisaged and it shouldn't be take too long if we take all measures to yeah push it a little bit. So thank you for watching, uh, let me know what you think and of course please leave me a like and a subscription if you haven't yet, it helps the channel a lot and motivates me while it costs you nothing, thank you at this point. And apart from this, of course see you also next time with the next episode, thank you for watching, bye! Your Strategy Wolf.